I'm finally doing the string butler video. Hello everyone, welcome to Pawn Shop to Jaw Drop, and I'm excited today because I have finally solved a mystery that has plagued me throughout the last few years. I'm a Boston fan, and I've seen lots of pictures of Tom Schultz playing his Les Paul on that guitar, mounted on the headstock. He has this steel string guide contraption that makes the strings go through the nut straight, then hit the string guide, and then twist off to the tuners. I have tried to find that everywhere. I mean, I guess it must be a custom thing because I couldn't find it. However, I have found another solution. It's a great product called the String Butler, and you can see a picture of it right here. Much like I just described, when it's installed, it adds four string guides to your headstock for the A, D, G, and B strings. This creates a situation where these four strings actually go straight through the nut out to a string guide before they make the turn to go to the tuning machine. It's ingenious and it works great. I installed it on my Epiphone Wildcat and uh, it's been a major improvement. That's a good question. If you have an inline headstock like this, or like this, or any similar inline headstock where the strings go straight through the nut out to a tuning machine, you don't need the string butler. If you have a three on a side headstock, like this guy, where there's three tuning machines on either side of the headstock, you may need a string butler. Here's how you tell. If your headstock was designed by a man of science, like this, you don't need the string butler. However, if when your strings go through the nut, they veer off at a hard angle, much like is on my trusty Fender Acoustic here, the string butler might really help you out. Now, again, I installed mine on my Epiphone Wildcat, and here's what that headstock looks like. Now you can see in that photograph that the aforementioned problem is present. The strings go through the nut and then they take a hard left or a hard right turn to go to the tuning machine. Okay, so here's my Epiphone Wildcat as it is now. You can see the string butler is in place and the A, D, G, and E strings go straight through the nut and keep going straight until they get to these roller string guides and then they veer off to the tuner. What this does is it creates increased tuning stability because there's no binding of the nut caused by that hard left or right turn that the string has to take once it goes through the nut. Now, this guitar would not stay in tune post-bend, pre-string butler, but now when I have the string butler installed, it actually stays in tune. So it's going to be hard really for me to do an actual, you know, demo of the string butler just because it's this little piece of hardware that you attach to your headstock. But I am going to show you me doing a whole step bend and the guitar staying in tune. So here we go. I'm actually using the G string here. And it's a little up. Sorry, I haven't played this guitar today. All right, that's in tune. So now we're going to do a whole step bend. And now let's check the tuning. And it's perfect. Let's try it on the D string. By the way, I'm sorry you can't see the snark. One of these days, uh, I'll get some kind of a headstock camera. Uh, okay, D strings in tune. Here comes our whole step bend. 
Uh, that's a little far, actually. <laughs> And let's check that tuning of the D string. It's perfect. So, if you have a three and three headstock that's been giving you problems, I can't recommend this product enough. I'm actually gonna show you a picture of it now installed. Hopefully by looking at that picture, you can see that it's really easy to install. You just take the nut, off of your two E string tuners. String butler goes on and you put the nut back down. You have some other mounting options. The string butler actually has some holes in it so you can actually screw it to the headstock if you've got vintage style tuners. That's, if you've got a guitar that's pretty valuable, I don't know that you wanna do that, but it's an option. And then it for, according to the instructions for acoustic guitar installation, you actually invert it so that the um, the most forward string guides are actually closer to the truss rod. I don't, I haven't tried that. However, I am getting one of these for my acoustic and my dobro because it works great and I think this would be a fine addition to any guitar with a 3 plus 3 headstock. And I can tell you from personal experience that it's a great addition to the Epiphone Wildcat. For you Epiphone Wildcat owners out there, do yourself a favor. This thing is less than 50 bucks and it works great. I have the Wildcat Studio, which actually has a hardtail, but uh, there are Wildcats that are equipped with a butter knife, Bigsby style tremolo. And uh, I think this would be an absolute must have in that situation. In fact, a friend of mine owns uh, an American Gretsch that's actually quite valuable, uh, but he told me recently that he's selling it just because he's just so sick of the tuning problems. I, I bet this would solve that problem. Okay, so there it is. I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into my experience with the String Butler. Again, it's an inexpensive mod. It costs less than $50. I like it so much I'm doing it to two more of my guitars. I absolutely love this thing. What a great invention. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Well, friends, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can head over to pawnshop2jawdrop.com for even more content. But while you're here, here's another video you might like. This is Brendan saying we'll see you next time on... Pawnshop to Jawdrop.